Howdy my friends and welcome back to more Let's Play Grand Turismo 2. This is Sky Hurricane and we're going to finish up the rally in this part. So let's do a Tahiti Dirt Rally Route 3 here. I can't, I can't say it. Whatever. Y'all can read what that is. <laughs> Tahiti something. We'll just say that. Alright. So Route 3, let's do this. Against the Corolla Rally Car. And this was a choice... Or this was a car that you could also have won from the, you could buy it for 500,000 credits or you could win it from the Rome Endurance Race. The two hour Rome Endurance Race. But I got the Altezza Elevate Edition which is really what I wanted so. So that's a, plus I had plenty of rally cars anyway. There really was no need in getting the Corolla. Although I do like the crow, it's pretty pretty cool. It probably isn't as good as that Evolution 5 rally car though. From Mitsubishi. Or the Tiger Ice Race car, which we'll be seeing later. Oh golly, that, that sucker is a beast. This is probably one of the easiest tracks, you gotta say. Of course, now that I say that, there's no telling what's gonna happen. Yeah, because here's this section. Oh wow, I'm actually pulling away. I was kind of taking it easy there. Yeah, Celica is good. Of course, it doesn't look as good, you know, compared to the Stratos because with the Stratos, I was beating some of the some of the cars I was versing by a much bigger margin. But of course, the cars that I'm using that I'm versing with the sale car much faster, so. Well, that kind of is a, is a factor co to consider for sure. But yeah, that was one of our biggest leads yet on any of the races with the Celica, so. The Corolla just wasn't as tough of an opponent, apparently. Yeah, we did it. Get 10,000 here. So did all of those. Did that whole page. Look at all those trophies. Beautiful. And now, uh, now let's finish the Pikes Peak downhill with the Lancer Evo 4 GSR. And I think, even though this one's 10,000, I'm surprised. I think I could have won this with the Stratos. Because, uh, this, all this really is is a tuned up Lancer Evolution 4. Similar to that tuned up Subaru and Prezzo we versed earlier and killed with the Stratos. Poor thing. Yeah, at least we'll be able to kind of compare the time. What was the best time we got with the Stratos? Like one. Uh, wasn't it like 206 or something? It wasn't a very good time. I believe it was 206. I may be wrong, though. It may have been better than that. Anyway, I do remember the time that you must get to beat the Cultus and the Scudo, and that's like 150. Which is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, as I was saying, look at how we're killing this poor Lancer. really probably should have used the Stratos for this, but I didn't want to use the Celica on one of these hikes peak downhill. It seems like I did get a better time going downhill with the Stratos than I did uphill. Which makes sense, you know, because you're not going to go as fast uphill. Kind of hard to tell on the map, but uh, I think I'm very far ahead. Oh yeah, we stomped this poor car.
golly, look at that. That's insane. Full throttle here at the end. Yeah, I definitely beat the Stratos by a lot, but but uh, we still not good enough to beat the Escudo or or the Cultus. I gotta say. Oh no, this is Evolution Six. But yeah, this is not the Rally car because I have the Evolution Six Rally car in my garage. And this is not that. That's just a regular Evolution 6. But yay, we won. Easy 10,000. Alright, so next, Smoky Mountain North Reverse. Against the Lancer Rally car. Oh, now this one actually is really, really tough. Remember, I almost lost this one south with the, uh, with the Impreza. There's all those crazy jumps and everything you have. It's easy to lose control and spin out or run into a wall and lose all your momentum. So I have to be really careful because this Lancer here, yeah, this is the one I have in my garage. This is the real, this is the real rally car here. The real deal. Hopefully we will not suck miserably. Golly, look at that acceleration is keeping up with us. up with us. Which I honestly really am not thrilled about. Gosh sake, look at this. Lose control. The freaking jumps kill me. Why did I just do that? Okay, good. Stay back there. <laughs> okay, now this may look like a nice, easy straight section, but don't let it fool you. Golly. The evil dolls are really getting, getting down today, I gotta say. Oh gosh, we beat you, barely. But a victory is a victory, so. I will take it. Yeah, it really is one of the hardest tracks to do, in all honesty. It really is. I can't even call it straight because there's bad kids. Uh, last one before we have to get... Oh golly, and this one y'all is no joke. The Tiger Ice Race car. This one is no joke at all here. This arguably is the best rally car um, behind the Celica, I would say. Definitely is one mean little machine. Because in the past I've tried beating this with like the Lancer or the uh, Impreza and I just, I couldn't even stand a chance. I ended up getting creamed. Look at it, it has better acceleration than our Celica does. That's just insane, isn't it? I thought so too. Not doing too well right now. I mean, we could be doing worse, but preferably I'd like to be winning, you know. You I barely avoided that. Oh, yeah, let's hit that wall. Just when I bragged on you for not hitting the wall, you. Oh my gosh, what the. That was crazy. 
somehow we didn't just flip all over. <laughs> He's keeping up with me. Waiting on me to have some kind of mishap. I think we got this. Oh yeah. Nice little victory. And y'all, we're almost there. Almost there. Two more. But oh, these other two, they're very, very special, I gotta say. And I'm gonna go ahead and save. So all in all, y'all, we almost won all the money back that we had spent on the Strato, so that's pretty cool. But now we're about to spend a lot of money. A lot of money. Just for these two little races coming up. And oh yeah, look at that mean machine right there. Oh yeah. Now, this is the Cultus here. I have actually won both of those races with the Cultus. It is very, very, very good. You know, definitely the best rally car in the game after the Escudo. But uh, it is far, far inferior to the Escudo, I have to say. And uh, I kind of played around a few weeks ago practicing, you know, just kind of get a good idea of how much different they really were. And I, I, on Red Rock Valley, I got a, uh, a time of, for one lap, 102 was the best time I got with this. Whereas with this one, oh, this thing here, look, it's lighter and it's more powerful. I got a, uh, like, 57 seconds, so that's just outrageous. And probably could have even gotten better, because I only did, like, three laps. But, yeah, we're going to buy this one. You could look at the information here. It's just so, so insane. But uh, it is, it's, as it's better on the road courses, it's even better on rally as well than the Scudo, or than the Cultus. The Cultus understeers a little more than this, but the Cultus is very good, and it's definitely capable of winning both those races. And uh, like I said earlier, the uh, Cultus actually gets a better time. The uh, the Cultus Ghost gets a better time than the Escudo Ghost. So we'll actually have to do better against the Cultus than we will the Escudo. But let's do this. Let's go against the Cultus. This shall be fun. Yeah, I thought about trying to use the Cultus for a little more of a challenge, but I was like, hey, you know, I'm not going to worry about it. But we're going to make some modifications here. Kind of help on the handling maybe a little bit. If we want to change our downforce. All right, let's do this. The Pikes Peak Hill Climb. And this probably is the harder one to win, which I know is really silly, but... Oh, yeah. I actually like the Cultus because of its, uh, I like the color design better on it. You know, may I've never really been a fan of red, but... I like some, some shades of red. Especially if it's like metallic. Yeah, this is insane. I'm gonna try not to hit too many walls, but no guarantees. Yeah, as good as that Celica was though. You know, even going downhill, it's not going to get as good of time as this is going up. It's funny. They're pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, 
this thing is, is just so great. And I think I said uh, when I was doing the Rome 2 hour Enduro, oh that was bad. I actually uh, was able to get all 99 laps with this before the two hours was up. I think it'd be cool to show that, but I really don't want to take the time to do that. So I think it'd be cool to show it possible. I'm sure some of you have probably done it in the past. If you played this game as much as I have. I think we're almost done. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, we got 146 and the cultist finishes right at 150, so. We won. See those b both of those main machines. You know, it's kind of weird. The, the Scudo looks bigger, but it's lighter than the Cultus. Yep, that's pretty nice. So we only have one more, and golly, look, we won 25,000 for that, two and a half times more than the other ones. All right, so the Scudo Pikes Peak, final race. Save the best for last, eh? So let's do this. Good old Escudo. <laughs> like turning my tires and everything. Well, yeah, of course I am silly. And whatever settings we did to the car, we're actually able to get a little bit better of a start, you know. Not that that matters much, but grand scheme of things. Yeah, it seems like this gets like a 151 when it finishes, so unless we just really bomb badly, we should be able to beat it. Considering we got a 146 when versing the cultists. Scar's insane. You wouldn't think something like this would handle really good on road tracks, but it does. I mean, it's better than the Toyota GT1 I ever thought about being in this game. Now, in the later Gran Turismo's, it, it's a little more correct, I would say. Still keeping up. Should almost be there. Almost be done. Yeah, you know, I've really wondered, do the ghosts always do the same? Because it seems like sometimes they do better than other times. Well dang, I screwed up there, didn't I? Yeah, still got about the same time. And look, still got pretty much about the same time. And it didn't even do any better than the cultists. Even though it's clearly superior, you know. Alright, well, that was fun. That was very fun. So let's go see our stats. We've done everything, y'all. Everything. Except for the GT World. So that that's what we're going to do in the next part. And then I think after I do that, I do want to have a couple extra special videos before I get on the arcade mode. But look at that. 99.54%. The GT World Championship doesn't even count for a half of a percent. 
That is funny. The manufacturer races and the rally account for a big chunk. That's just insane. You know, even though they don't take very long. It's just that one little race takes as much as a whole championship. Just because how it's set up. Yeah, 95 cars. Only four more cars and we would be filled up. Y'all, we are going to stop right here. Join me next time where we take on the GT World Championship. Hope to see y'all there. This has been Sky Hurricane. Hope you have a super awesome, blessed day. And as always, my friends, stay awesome. Goodbye, y'all.